What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Sonoma Tech once again. It's windy outside, so I'm recording in my car so you don't get the beautiful scenery behind me. However, I needed to come to y'all and let you guys know that the claims of the Ledger Nano S being 100% secure is, in fact, false. On Tuesday, a 15-year-old from the UK proved these claims wrong in a post published in his personal blog. His name is Salim Rashid, and I'll link the blog in the description below for you guys to check out. Essentially, there are multiple ways, and I was trying to review this as much as possible, but forgive me, I don't have time to also bring you the full-on details, but I'll be going over it a little bit more in the future. There are essentially three different ways to attack it. You have a physical access before setup of the seed. This is known as a supply chain attack. Uh, this is the focus of this particular article or his blog and uh, it does not require malware on the target computer nor does it require the user to confirm any transactions. The big thing about this is if you go on to the Ledger website they say that it's okay and safe to buy them from eBay. The problem is is if this is true which it's proven to be true that it's in fact not safe to buy it from eBay now, Ledger does go through an entire article of checking for physical changes to the device, which they say would be the only way to do it. And of course, this is physical access after setup, aka an evil mind attack. This attack would allow you to extract the pin recovery seed and passphrase, provided the device is used at least once after you attack it. Now, the third way, just to clarify with you guys, would be malware. And the malware will work. And the reason these attacks are working, to clarify with everyone here, is because there's two chips on the Nano itself. You have a secure chip and an unsecure chip. Where the attacker is coming in is on the unsecure chip. However, if you're able to go ahead and do it properly, the secure chip, when it goes to validate the insecure chip, essentially is, is told, you know, everything's okay, when in fact it's really not. And the biggest issue here that I wanted to address is not purchasing your stick, of course, from someplace like eBay or even any third party at this point. I think for the safest bet, you're going to want to go ahead and purchase directly through Nano. I do want to say at this point, I did the review for the uh, Trezor hardware wallet, and I'm curious if this also is possible on their device from the specs or how I read about the internals for the Trezor in particular. It appears to be uh, uh, architected a little bit different than the Ledger Nano S, so it might actually end up being the safer device. Unfortunately, the Ledger Nano S is the most sold device, and if you lose possession of it at any time, for any reason, and somebody else has had their hands on it, you want to be very, very careful. As demonstrated in the supply chain attack for this article in particular, you go through the verification of the MCU to pass over the entire contents of its flash memory, and then the mode of attack actually uses C coding, which is uh, pretty common here, to essentially place a payload of 258 bits into the bootloader to go ahead and trick the official firmware into thinking your malicious firmware is actually legit. Once it does that and you've modified it, then what you're essentially able to do is pull the private key. Now, for fixing this attack, Ledger's claim that they have for 1.4, the latest update, but what you want to be careful for here is, as mentioned in this article, one of the attack forms would be along the lines, essentially, of manipulating the user into thinking they're getting a firmware update when they're really not. So you'd have, essentially, a middleman that would come in and say, hey, we've verified that this is the firmware when you go to plug your, your device into your computer and it's connected to the internet, and you say okay and then at that point it downloads the malicious firmware so when you go to update just be very very careful with that as that is a known issue and another way to attack so there's multiple ways to attack here uh, the, to cover the three one's going to be physical you can prevent this by going ahead and taking your device apart and making sure nothing's been tampered with and there's no soldering connections that look suspicious and you can check this out on the ledger a website which i'll leave a link to in the description 
description below. The next one is going to be that you've lost access to your device or before you even got your device, so you bought it from eBay, they've loaded a malicious firmware on there and you don't know anything about it and you start dumping your Bitcoin in there and once you dump enough that they think they want to pull it, you're gone, you're done. The third way is going to be essentially that you go to update your firmware and you've had some sort of malicious software loaded onto your PC that then tricks your Nano S into thinking that you're getting the latest firmware patch when in fact you're not. So these are the three things that you need to watch out for. I hope that this video is helpful. Like I said, I hope that this is also not affecting the Trezor wallets. And I guess at this point, since that hasn't been identified yet, if you're going out to buy a hardware wallet right now, I'd probably lean towards the Trezor, even though previously I've always leaned towards the Ledger. Now making claims like 100% secure, I never agree with. However, you know, they are still saying that everything's okay and safe, but I tend to believe the people that have a research paper that's, what, how long is this? This is ridiculous. This is a very long article with lots of detail, including a GitHub with the malicious software that you can download and try out on your Nano S yourself, which I might do because that would be kind of fun, and a ton of information. So I'm going to probably trust this. Ars Technica is where I got the original article, and then I head I headed on over to the personal blog. Crazy stuff. I hope you guys stay safe out there. Be careful, and as always, I'm going to recommend that you go with a cold wallet, something like a paper wallet. Go grab the key stack, crypto key stack, which we unboxed earlier. I know they're sold out. There's some other ones that you can go ahead and pick up. I'll try to leave an affiliate link in the description for them so you guys can go find them. Other than that, I'll see you next Tuesday.